case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1961, a significant civil rights case, Burton v. Wilmington Parking Authority, landed before the U.S. Supreme Court. It involved a black man who was turned away at the Eagle Coffee Shop, a restaurant located in a parking building owned by the Wilmington Parking Authority. The restaurant, having spent $220,000 to customize the premises for its operation, disregarded the man's rights under the 14th Amendment's Equal Protection Clause, leading to the pivotal lawsuit. The lease between the Wilmington Parking Authority and the Eagle Coffee Shop did not specify that Eagle needed to provide restaurant services to the public on a non-discriminatory basis. Despite operating on publicly owned property, the restaurant had rejected service to a black customer, prompting a legal battle that implicated the state in the private entity's discriminatory actions. The case was first brought before the Delaware Supreme Court, which ruled in favor of the restaurant, considering it as operating in a purely private capacity, thus falling outside the scope of the 14th Amendment. The Supreme Court of Delaware also classified Eagle's operation as primarily a restaurant, under the provisions of 24 Delacy Section 1501, which does not mandate every restaurant operator to serve all persons seeking its services. However, the man was unsatisfied with the judgment and pressed an appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. The Supreme Court took a different view on the matter, contending that the state could not absolve itself of its responsibilities under the amendment, owing to the public nature of the property in question. It was held that the Wilmington Parking Authority's involvement in the discriminatory act was a violation of the 14th Amendment. With this judgment, Supreme Court overturned the earlier ruling of the Delaware Supreme Court. The court emphasized that the applicability of the amendment would rely on the specifics of each individual case. The ruling stated that lessees of public properties, similar to the Wilmington Parking Authority, were obliged to comply with the Equal Protection Clause, especially in cases where leasing of public property breaches the amendment. This landmark judgment was returned to the lower court for further proceedings, thereby reinforcing the government's obligation in preventing racial discrimination, even within private establishments operating on state-owned properties. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.